<clears throat> All right, warriors. Five seconds, five Mississippis. We're gonna do a breathing exercise. We're gonna breathe in deep, hold it, release together, and take a badass walk on the beach. And I wanna make clear on what we're gonna to touch on today, a little bit about how some people have experienced what they thought was a spiritual epiphany because they saw something and they call shadow people. We're gonna talk a little bit about that because some of you have mistaken uh, being able to see a realm which was drug induced and since you don't know the difference you could be convinced that you truly saw the spirit realm now those who have experienced drug induced shadow people understand exactly what I'm talking about most of you have been sleep deprived so much uh, speed heads, meth heads, crack heads, uh, free base, they used to call it free basin, uh, crank, all of these kinds of synthetics cause sleep deprivation and cause your mind to just lose itself. In order for it to preserve its own self, keep from self-destruct, it's going to start operating in hallucinations, delusions. These hallucinations are very, very real to the mind. So, I want to be able to do this breathing exercise with you so that you understand that what you saw, you saw, but it wasn't real, real. Okay? I don't want you to mistake that for, I saw this, I saw that, I saw the demon, I saw the shadow people. Everyone who has been drugged before, if you've never been drugged, you have no idea what you saw was on purpose, manipulation. And so if you've, you've lived in this little bubble, this shelter, not experiencing what a lot of us out in the field have, experimenting, and you saved yourself a lot of heartache. You didn't miss out on much. Okay, you missed out on some fun, but not a lot, a lot. Okay, a lot, a lot, but not a lot. But nonetheless, I mean, if you've never partied, if you will, never experimented, great for you. But because of that, you're not in tune or in touch, and nor do you even have built up any kind of resistance to identify what it feels like to be under this drug, that drug, what causes this, what happens to you if you lose sleep for three days, four days. Many of you have never even served in the military where this was purposely induced in you because they need you to be combat ready even while experiencing sleep deprivation because sleep deprivation brings hallucinations and believe me that last couple of weeks through your boot camp you're going to see some shadow people but you're still going to be able to carry out your orders because failure is not an option. You see, this is where they separate those who are able to have conscience awareness even when deprived of sleep and seeing things like hallucinations. Five seconds and I'm going to share a work rule with you. Just, you know, golden nugget, something that's simple application. And look, we don't talk about shit you don't already know. You know what I'm talking about. Five seconds, let's do this. Release slowly. All right. <laughs> you know, we talk about diarrhea of the mouth. Careful who you vent to, even those so called BFFs. And let me tell you why. Just because they listen to you doesn't mean they're your friend. Your covert malignant narcissist will use this against you later, later. And believe me, it's intel gathering for them. What I want you to understand is, when you vent, you're talking to people who can't keep a secret. 
that's how they won you over to begin with. You're just in denial. Lawyers, be good enough to turn your back on anyone that's shown you to be against you. Don't doubt it. Don't second guess it. Don't be skeptics. And don't enable. Don't be stupid enough to trust them again. Because that's on you. Lawyers, when you go around investing freely, trusting, unconditionally loving, waiting for somebody to prove to you they're untrustworthy first, that was the wrong way to execute this thing we call life. See, because somebody had to pay for the mistakes. And ultimately, it was you. Because now you understand it. You have to earn the trust. And that comes with respectful cooperation among two people or multitude of people. Trust is built on by actions. When you start to see people do this and the lifestyle change is born or adopted and you see people progressively becoming better versions of themselves, that's where you invest. See, we weren't taught to invest. In fact, you were taught wrong how to learn. And it's why you have a, 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 the same ability. You had to do this on your own. Don't freak out. But understand how special you are. You know how to understand how important it is to unlearn in order to relearn what you didn't learn. And you had to do it in a way where you're self-taught and not be arrogant and still have humility as you observe and not absorb. Lawyers, well, operating in reality and, uh, and these shadow people, the reason I wanted to share that with you is because many of us who have worn the uniform have been put through so many different scenarios in our training to be wartime ready that civilians that are being taken advantage of and being able to be manipulated aren't aware that they're seeing things that we are aware of because we were forced to see it as a part of our training and, I, and, and you will freak out if, if for the first time you ever saw what you thought was a jumping shadow person in the dark or you feel like you're being followed sometimes that gang stalking should trigger you to understand think in these terms who offered me a drink what did I eat where did I eat who did I eat with and do I always feel this same way every time I'm with this person or I drink at this certain bar or I'm at this certain place with a certain somebody or is it after I eat a certain meal of the day? It never happens at work when I go out to eat lunch, but it happens at home. Or it only happens when I drink that tea or that Kool-Aid or whatever it might be. And so you have to understand that that's the line of questioning instead of you freaking out about the freak out, about what you saw. You know it's different, but I want it to trigger you instead of into controlled schizophrenia that it triggers you into your logical and find the patterns. Find the common denominator. Subconsciously be aware and try and reflect. And you'll find the culprit because in your hallucination process that you were going through, you'll have caught the shitty grin of the one that done it. 
Warriors. This The spirit's gonna haunt the narcissist through self-conviction, that shame that everyone talks about. And people say, well, the narcissist got no empathy, they sure as hell ain't got no shame. No, they don't. They got no shame in their game at all. They got no remorse. They only have regret for getting caught because they have to start all over again and reinvest in the manipulation and look over their shoulders all over again to see who's caught on. And it probably takes them a shitload of pump and dumps to even find a single candidate worthy of the manipulation because everybody's broke nowadays. And it's why they have to build up so many in that harem closet because everything's low quality now. In fact, if you are a person of sound mind seeking a connection, a solid connection, and you're tired of the pump and dumps, you're tired of the new social world order's understanding of relationships and uh, what do they call them? Situationships. Warriors, can you understand then how harder it is for narcissists that can't breathe because of the amount of codependency they rely on to be regimented, to be fed, to be coddled? They can't go low wolf. So warriors, I want you to understand the snake is a snake. The snake is that thought, that seed of doubt, the hoover, trying to find ways to get you to reach out to them in concern so it looks like it was your idea, but it wasn't really. I want you to start looking through the fog, through that love bomb. See, you're still going through withdrawals. It takes baby steps to wean you off the narc pipe. You started seeing shadow people because you was hitting that pipe too hard, too long. Trying to justify it. Slowly losing yourself. Questioning your faith. And because of that, the amount of mindfuck in your head and self-conviction, you've been missing out on opportunities that have been all around you. Thinking now the world's against you. Nothing's changed. Like seeing the shadow people. You're believing the narcissist illusion. That's their world. They want you to believe it's yours. Get off the narc pipe. And get back in your lane. That's not your world. Get out there now, it warriors. You got it like that. And now you understand why you sound crazy when you're trying to explain what you've seen and why you're being gang stuck. Why you seeing ghosts, seeing shadows. Some might be real, some might not. But I tell you this much: if you've been drugged. then either way, someone's cursing you. Start looking into that, those details. Not what you saw. How did it start? Who was there? Pick up the pattern. That's the one. And it will be a part of a network because you're cowards like that. Warriors, remember who you vent to. Just because they're listening don't mean they're your friends. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. 
Namaste Warriors. Namaste. Les mando besos y abrazos. <risa>